So another thing that needs to be done is wing tips. It's a fairly big wing, but anyway, um, we could make a fiberglass thing. Um, we can just have a flat sheet there, you know, with a little fence up here, perhaps, you know, pick up one of those anchor nuts there that I made. Um, but no, Donnie's not going to do that, is he? No, -uh. no, 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 no. We like metal and curved metal is where it's at. It's just going to take a little bit of knocking about. But yeah, straight edges. <laughs> Who does that? Really? Challenge accepted. So the idea is I've just removed this little piece here. And then we'll just extend that out to where I need it to be. So that can be the base and then we'll have a skin pick up from there. So that, that would be where the holes are, the anchor nuts. And then we'll make a thing a roundy curvy metal thing mm. so making this wingtip all out of off cuts that I've had over the years and formed up the leading edge. Downside to using off cuts is that I'm just a little bit short this end. Bit of a botherations. <sighs> That's okay. What we can do is make a make it just a doubler in here. See that or I'll make a whole new piece there or find a bigger skin here which I don't have. So Frankenstein being who it is and what it is, that's what we're going to do. My mistake, but I can fix it. Hmm. There we go, boys and girls. One repair done. More like a fillet than a, than a doubler, but anyway. Almost looks like it's meant to be there even. You just wouldn't know unless I told you. So don't tell anyone. <laughs> the whole wingtip's done actually. We just gotta finish it off now, do a few little tweaks and test fits and give her a polish up so it looks Looks nice, but yeah. All right, I reckon. So there we have it. One wingtip attached. All I've got to do now is make another one for that one. Same as that, but different. Hmm, maybe without that. We'll see. Fun, 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 fun. Watch this space. So this is the other wingtip. So one one's done obviously. Now we've got we're onto this one. This is all of the all of the simple bits made and drilled off. So now comes the fun bit. So that's the compound curve going through here. I'll probably end up doing another fillet from there to there because um, that's that area is just a flat spot there. So there's no real compound curve there. So, so I'll, I'll um, it'll look similar to the other side, but it'll be different. You may notice from one wingtip to the other, this, this panel is about the same. Uh, that's roughly the same, but there's a difference. And down here is different. Does it mess with my OCD? Yes. Yes, it does, but that's the beauty of building Frankenstein the way it is. It's all out of offcuts and stuff that I've got. If I had a choice, I would um, I would have made these wingtips out of thinner material and it would have been one sheet until the compound curve at the front. But 
we're making it out of got off cuts. See, there's a little bit line down there and everything like that. So that's how Frankenstein's being built, just like that. Um, again, this side will be level with the top of the wing. So that'll be flat and all of the curve comes up to the top of the wing from the bottom like that. It looks funky, but that's just a flat curve. There's nothing special about that. Um, again, this little tube has a bit of a curve to it that way as well as that way to match the top of the skin. Um, yeah, what else? That's about it so far. Yeah, the funky stuff is about to, about to happen. So, this is the thing. We've got to make a piece that goes from the leading edge there up to there. So obviously that'll be a compound curve and we've got to have the sheet go from there and follow that radius or that curve. Yeah, that makes sense. And then we have a taper also, which is just adds to the fun. So this radius here is a lot bigger then there, which is only what quarter inch or something, a little bit over, half inch. Um, so it goes from, from there, tapers down to there. Also, it's not, uh, it's flat on one side and not the other. So this taper also goes that way rather than down to the center over here. If we just tapered it one way the, uh, to the middle, it would be over here somewhere rather than here because remember I wanted this top side to match the top of the wing, the flat part. So curved that way, tapered that way, but faking to the um, top side rather than the center. Also, while I'm making it, um, the to get this taper right, um, that size won't fit in my English wheel. So the, the, the die is a lot, the radius will be a lot bigger than that. So what I need to do is actually form it so the sheet comes down here somewhere. So overstretch it. And then, uh, but it'll have a bigger radius this way. And then when I squeeze it up to match this shape, it'll bring that up to the shape that I want. I don't know if that makes sense. I sort of I did that with the um, elevator and rudder um, horns as well. Same principle. I use a stretcher and shrinker on that, but this time I'll be using the English wheel because it's a much bigger change. So that's the challenge. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, hopefully it will when you see the bits coming along. So that's the piece of metal that I've cut out, 20, 24, T3, 25 thou. So it's a bit thick. Um, so I'll have to, there's a fair bit of metal to move there. Um, thinner stuff would have been easier to work. And, but anyway, it's quite a complex and uh, uh, curve and the metals, there's a lot of metal to move um, to get that curve. So anyway, so six inches wide, um, that line there is the center line there and that'll match this line here so i just use nico as a guesstimation rough sort of thing to get it where i want and then i settle in and get finer markings uh, this line here represents the top of this here so because we want that flat to match the wing skin um, the reason why i ended up with a big gap here on the other wing was because this curve continued on and it didn't quite match properly um, Freaking hard to get right, just there. But anyway, we'll try better this time. So center line there, and then it'll taper up to this point here. That's why you can see, instead of having that mark in the middle, um, we're gonna we're gonna work our way over to this side to get that to get that taper to track up to the top side rather than the middle here, because otherwise it would go up here. Yes, I could move it across, but it just doesn't quite look right here. Then um, we want the we want the skin to to curl that way. Well, that's the idea, anyway. We'll see what happens. So at the moment, I can sort of induce a twist in the metal, 
so it'll sort of roll around like that and then we'll start working it um, to get that taper. So we started with a, sort of like a mid-range wheel. We've got it to get a bit of a bit of a curve into it already. Um, trim that extra piece off there because that's just getting in the road. But as you can see, we've got a fair way to go yet. So. Um, Lots of extra work in there, so we'll have to change the wheel out now and go to the next size up. That's starting to look a little bit better. We're getting closer. Uh, I've still got to change, chase that taper a bit more. And, and that edge there, so. Slowly getting into the ballpark. But yeah, still a lot of extra work through the middle there and that taper is still there. So I'm concentrating, you can still see that line there. Sort of concentrating on that line and then over on this side, more than the, than the bottom piece. I'll end up trimming a fair bit of that off. But that's where we're at. Mightn't look like it, but we are getting a lot closer. That taper's starting to happen. See how we're trying to get it to curl like that rather than a straight line that would have been a lot easier obviously and then this edge here should pick up on those though that skin and the top skin so there's still a little bit of work to go yet there's still a lot of i still need to raise this area a bit more because it's not quite not quite square down here you can sort of see flared there i'll probably end up trimming a little bit off there um, we're close but that, that piece there needs to come out further. So we need to work that shape even more. So there we go. We can work with that. That's pretty well trimmed now to the size and shape that we want. See how it all sort of flows up and curls like an almost like an S but up that way. So the bigger radius down here goes into a sharper radius up here up along the top side here that's a sharper radius than or curve than in here and by the time I put this fillet on in here that'll pull that down a little bit like that so that'll make it so I wanted I wanted all of the skins from the bottom side to flow up to the top side of this of the wingtip just make it look better I think and it sort of matches that shape which is nice that was what we we're after. So yeah, now I just got to make this fillet in here, and we can put it all together. Okay, this one's ready to rivet up, all clico together. I just spent the afternoon mucking around, just making sure all of the edge actually touches where it should. So. It's a Bit of mucking around but yeah i just go around and mark wherever it's um lifted and not touching properly and then i work that area a little bit more that way you get a nice edge all the way along and when i rivet that all up that'll come in quite nicely just finishes things off so yeah next stage is rivet the sucker all together Hmm. Nearly there. Alrighty then. Wingtips are all shaped, made, fitted. Reckon they turned out alright. Big things. 23 inches, I think, from, from here out. I think it was 23, it might have been 24. Anyway, now we get to do the fun bit polishing. Oh yeah.